sometimes I want to scream out loud. Okay. All of you should just recite the holy name, meditate as much as you can at home and elsewhere, and just want liberation from all the created world. I mean the the shadow created world. The shadow world. That would be the best wish. Nothing else you should wish. Sometimes I want to scream out loud and come to each of your house and scream and say, please wake up. Do not be attached to anything in this world, however beautiful, however alluring, however promising. They are the chain that binds you forever in the cycle of transmigration. Look inside. Just look inside. Inside is the real world. Everything outside here that you can see or you want to look or you want to hold on to are not real. Not real at all. But the more we are attracted to outside, the more we cannot be in the real world. Yes, because I can see sometimes that the human, even some of you, so-called initiates, are still very much attached to whatever outside them. Because you do not go inside enough to, to see the wonder inside. And you, you just see everything outside. And everything outside is created to make you feel that is real, that it is all there is, and it's so beautiful and wonderful. Of course, it does look like that, but it is not. And I feel so very sorry for all of you, for everyone, being so bounded here. They are binding you so tightly that you, you hardly understand. The humans hardly understand where they are and what they're doing. Just like some people who are so engaged in, uh, you know, computer game, uh, internet. I never played, but I saw some people that saw engrossed in it, that they forgot everything else outside. But that is also another illusion within this illusional world. And sometimes they forget. It, it, it feels so real. It feels so real that I heard that somebody even <laughs> leaned on the table <laughs> and fell down on the floor, but the table is the they're created by a computer in a game, yeah? Just like when we go see movies. Everything, the big screen in front of us makes us so glued to the screen, to the cinema screen, and then we forgot everything else around us, almost. And then we cry with the characters in the film. We hate some of the baddies in the film. And we laugh with some funny uh, scenery in the scene, in the cinema scene. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's like that. It's like that. But this world is bigger than a film. It's bigger than the computer game. And it's more intricate. It's more complex. It's more uh, sophisticatedly made. That's why it is more real, more real than in the film. And we, the soul, has been captured in the so-called also unreal body, but mistaken it for real. And everything became more real. And whatever you want, it will manifest also. And therefore, so many people want many different things. And the games keep changing, the games keep getting more complicated, more intricate, and more real with each person's desire come into effect. And we cannot, the humans cannot understand that this is just a game. And that's why I'm so sorry. I, I'm so sorry for everyone on this planet. <laughs> that's why I'm so sorry for each, every of sentient beings on this planet. Every little false move. Your life is in trouble. Even the great, the biggest criminal 
or any people who are bad, we call bad on this planet, even the worst one there, just play the wrong game. Play the wrong move. Just like in the computer, you have a reward and you have punishment, right, in the game. Yes, Master. Is that correct? Correct, Master. Uh, I imagine so. I have never played any game, but I believe this is so. And sometimes they advertise on TV, like a war game or something like that. And if, of course, if you make a wrong move, you will lose the war, right? They often get three lives in the games. Three lives. <laughs> okay. Well, we have many lives. You just don't know it. <laughs> three lives. You mean you die and come back again? Yes, in the, in the games they normally give you three lives. Okay, understand. Now, similarly, in this world we are given many lives. And again and again and again we are returning, we return to the world, so-called world, to play the same game. Hoping, vowing, wanting to play it right. But we don't always remember how to play it right. And thus, you know, we being punished, being dead or go to hell or whatever is that. Even though it's all fake, but it's real. It's real because your mind cannot differentiate between the real and the unreal. And whatever happened to you, it feels so real, even in hell or in this world or in any wars or any suffering, any anything at all, it feels so real because the game is so sophisticated, so highly, highly tech, so that we trap in the body, we feel everything real. Even the astral body, it still has a body, so that's why it feels real. Only when you jump over to the fourth world, at least past the three worlds, then the body is more subtle so that the negative power cannot catch it and cannot punish or cannot make use of you for their amusement in any way. I feel so sorry for everyone. It's just a game and just they just push maybe the wrong button or make a little wrong move. And they lost. And they get punished, they go to hell or whatever it is. Just all game. And even if you win, so what? You will be also recycled again, again and again in this world and or the next. Or became even ghosts, demons, and never get out of that position. Uh, you know, pathetic and pitiful positions, all became again the like animals, humans suffering hunger, cold, even not to suffer, you know, birth, old age, and sickness and death, all this pain will plague you, life after life. So, even if you win, is this a loss in any case? And I feel so sorry, so sorry. There are no words to can express my sorrowful feeling for all beings that is feeling their suffering so much. Just a game and then just made the wrong move. They done nothing wrong at all, just the wrong move in a game. And this terrible game, Go on forever. At least for you, my so-called disciples, please be diligent. Just keep looking inside. Don't care for the outside. Maybe you can enjoy or you can look, but don't, don't feel too attached to it. Always remember the real life is inside. You have a real life, real, 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 real true life. This life is not yours. Whatever you see outside is not, is not what it is. So please just try to remember, recite the five names. Keep the gift that I give to you more than your life. Treasure it more than your so-called physical life here. 
and meditate and remember well. Always pray for protection and for improvement in spiritual progress. Walk inside. You'll go home. Walk back home. There's nothing here for you. Even if you like anything here, sooner or later, you have to relinquish anyway. So please just do meditate as much as you can, anywhere, anytime you have time. Save any time for gossip, for anything that's unnecessary, just to meditate. One minute, two minutes, they all count. They all add up. Do not bother about the game that's going on in this illusionary world, in this shadow world. Do you understand me? We understand yes. you, Master. Yes. Okay. Very clear. All right. Yeah, very good. And we very thank good. you for constantly being there for us as the example so that we, we have that light to follow. I hope that's what I can do for you. I hope. I hope that's what the influence can have on you. More I cannot. Master, you are the perfect example for us and, and the perfect guide and there is nothing more that we need other than to look towards you every moment and keep pursuing the highest and most noble thoughts and actions. I'm not sure what kind of example that I made that impresses you, but uh, I just hope that it gives you good influence for your spiritual practice and progress and uh, continue with your spiritual road, your spiritual path, and that you will improve and reach your home soon. Of course I am there always for you, but you also should always remember where home is. Look inside, okay? See, then you see everything here. There's nothing, all disappear. Nothing at all really exists. So just remember God, remember liberation, remember that this world is shadow when you really remember. We just want to go to our true home, liberated from here, that's all. Otherwise you get trapped here forever. Many masters come and go and some souls are still reincarnated here and there because they did not listen to the Master and being engrossed, being so captured by this illusionary world and suffer all the time. It's not real. It's like a computer game only. And if you make a wrong move, you'll be in trouble. And it's so easy to make a wrong move. So easy because so much distraction, so much temptation, so much things that want to bind you and pull you in the game forever. The computer game, some people say they are so addicted and they cannot kind of stop, but at least they can stop. They stop when they want. They stop when they have to, or when they go to eat, or go to bathroom, or do some of their job, or whatever. But this computer game of the so-called life on Earth is so difficult to set off. So there's the only way is that going back inside the, where the Master show you the way to go and recite the Holy Name to protect you and recite the gift to help you to boost more your energy to go up. Okay? Yes, Master. Thank you so much, Master. Okay. I wish all of you uh, whatever spiritual wish you have come true. Okay? for your liberation. Mm. Thank you. So that is that for today, and next time maybe again. Huh? Okay? Thank you so much, Master. Uh, 